What's up everybody? Welcome back to another brand new beer review. Actually, this is a seltzer review. And uh, yeah, it's from a company that I did not expect seltzers to come out of. Yeah. They always do gluten-free and natural and yeah. try to do healthy beers. And now they're getting into the seltzer the game. The seltzer game is thick right now. Everyone's jumping in on it. And everyone's piece of that seltzer money. <laughs> so what are we going to do today? It is... The Omission Hard Seltzer Variety Pack. Now, Omission does a lot of uh, gluten-free beer. They make a lager, an IPA, and uh, a light, ultimate light. Mm -hmm. So they have three different gluten-free beers. So if you're gluten-free, definitely go try those. They have four. Four? What's the, what's the other one? I can't Green, remember. Green, yellow, blue, red, uh, white. What's the So a light one? beer, an IPA, a lager... And See that last one? Is it an ale? Yeah, yeah, I think it is an ale. Some some kind of ale, not amber. No, not an amber ale. Anyways, so yeah, you can look it up. <laughs> Omission they have four. Omission started back in the early two thousands, and the guy who cre created it wanted to make create a uh, gluten free beer for his wife, who could not um, have gluten. She was gluten intolerant, so he created this company um, um, called Omission, and uh, so they've been making. These uh, four different uh, gluten-free beers that are actually pretty popular. And now, this just came out literally this week. Um, Omission Hard Seltzer with one carb, 90 calories, 4% alcohol, and it has zero sugar. Um, naturally gluten-free, of course. And the flavors are Orange Twist, Pomegranate Blueberry, Acai, or Acai, however you say that. Then Grapefruit and the Lime. So we're going to try them all right here and let you know what the flavors are and how they taste. Coming up next, so make sure you subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and let us know if you tried this seltzer and what your favorite seltzer is. So let's... Plenty of them out there. Roll the intro. Roll it. All right, so here we go with Omission's Hard Seltzers. We have four flavors to try, so we're just gonna jump right into this and see what the first flavor is on top. Oh, it is the pomegranate. Blueberry pomegranate. Here you go, Tim. Here you go, Ben. So, yeah. the number oh, one man. is this. Look at that cool design. Wow. 90 calories, 4% alcohol. All right, let's dive right in, boys. Blueberry pomegranate. Ooh, it's, it's got some smell to it. Yeah. So, we're hoping these have a lot of flavor because. That's what we're looking for with these seltzers, is they have a lot of flavor and not so much seltzer. Yeah, <laughs> most seltzers are mainly seltzer and very little flavor, except the natural sense. light sel seltzers, which had a lot of flavor. Yeah, those were so... so let's hope that these are closer to those, because yeah. those were good. Alright, let's go ahead and drink it up with Omission Hard Seltzer, Blueberry, Pomegranate, Akai. Well, mm. it tastes like a beer. Almost. I do get... Maybe it's the pomegranate. Yeah, it's flavor. definitely the blueberry pomegranate because it's, it's it's light on flavor, but a lot more flavorful than I expected. Yeah, and it's not as um, sparkling as most seltzers. Yeah, it's still... I almost say it's probably a little more sparkling than the natural lights. Maybe a tick more, yeah. But it's still about on par with maybe not as much flavor, mm -hmm. but close to it. How how well do you taste the pomegranate? Okay. It's pretty prominent. Yeah, I get the it's blueberry wheat. Kind of a, if you like those blueberry the, the blueberry type of berries, then guys, this is right up your alley. It's yeah. got a lot of flavor with those three berries in it. So good job, Omission, on making the blueberry or the I should, I'm sorry, it's pomegranate blueberry. And a kai or a sai. How do you say that? I really don't know. But that's it for this one. Leave in the comments below how do you say a sai yeah. or a kai. How do you say it? I have no idea. Now for the next one in the group, it is lime. Oh boy. And I like how they match the flavor or the colors with the flavor. This one is green. Just like a lime. Just like a lime. So once again, one carb, 90 calories, 4%. Here we go with the lime. Not smelling anything. Do you smell anything? No, 
I don't get it. It, it literally has zero smell. All right. I could smell the blueberry and the pomegranate yeah. in the yeah. first one. I don't get any scent in this one. All right, here we go with the lime from Omission Heart Seltzers. Ooh. Very light. light. I can really get that bite like a Sprite, but not mm. the good flavor, just like the lime, boom. But it's still a super, super light lime flavor. Yeah, it is very hint. It's like a it's, hint of lime. It's more seltzery than. Yeah, not than one of my thing. favorite ones right here. No, too much seltzer, not enough flavor. Kind of dull. Not much <laughs> yeah. lime. Yeah, it's, it's it's. I mean, it's refreshing yeah. if you like cool, refreshing seltzers. But yeah, but to be honest, I'm not a really big seltzer guy. That's Me that's either. why I like the ones really with like more seltzers. flavor because. Well, if they yeah. got flavor and it overpowers the pure seltzer, it's great. But when it's just like bam seltzer, and you think that you can have there's flavor in there, yeah. yeah. So the lime definitely not the best one so far. Some people might like it. Uh, yeah, but... if you really like lime seltzers, then you might like this one. But we're telling you right now, it's not a lot of flavor. Maybe it's just because we drank the blueberry one. Maybe it's, that's overpowering our it's taste buds. Definitely get an immediate tart like like tart flavor which it's more like if you're just biting into a lime you know yeah it's, kind of it's not like back. when you have a lime added to a drink which makes enhances that flavor like a sprites of lemon lime this is more just that tart lime yeah with it tastes a little better overpowered with seltzer yeah it's very hintish of lime-ish Okay. All right, let's jump into the next one. This one I'm kind of excited about. It is the Grapefruit Hard Seltzer out of the variety pack from Old Mission. Here we go, bowls. Ah, I don't think it smell very well. Maybe a hint of grapefruit? Yeah, it's very subtle. This, I'm feeling this is gonna be just like the other one. All right, here we go. Well, at least he actually smelled the grapefruit in this one. Ooh! All right, that's not bad at all. Better. Oh, yeah. That's definitely better than better the lime. Better than the lime. Now, I wonder if you mix the grapefruit and the lime together, if that would Ooh. enhance it a bit. That might. Because, yeah, if, I'm not a huge grapefruit fan. It's always been too, like, bitter for me. Grapefruit seems to be the main flavor for yeah. seltzers, too. Yeah. All of the, all the companies have grapefruit seltzer. I think it's got such a strong flavor, even with a little bit of flavor put in the can, you can always taste it. Yeah. Because like this one, I can definitely taste that grapefruit, but I'm, I'm just not a grapefruit fan. It's just subtle. It's, it's subtle it's flavor. It's a subtle flavor, which is not too bad. But. I think the Bon and Viv grapefruit was really good. If you watch that video, I'll post a link down below for you to watch. But that one had a lot, a lot of really good flavor. For the grapefruit, but this one definitely not up it's, there in the flavor. It's definitely more seltzer water than flavor. That's true. So I mean, some people really like the seltzers, hey. and we're just we're more beer guys. Yeah, yeah, exactly. we're definitely more. Um, beer. Do you how predominant do you taste the alcohol in all um, these drinks you've tried? These don't really. You can't really taste the alcohol. Can't taste the alcohol. It's very seltzery, spritey, and, and yeah. fresh. So if you, the alcohol is very, They're very not rare. fresh. Yeah. It is. Like these, these are refreshing as heck. As like, much as I don't like seltzers, like it does have a nice like. Ooh, that was refreshing. Yeah. <laughs> now here's one Tim's excited about. I am excited because I love orange. It is the orange twist. Orange twist. So this one hopefully has a. I want. I just want a blast of orange because I love oranges. Growing up in Southern California with all the orange trees right? everywhere. <laughs> orange country. Oof. I can smell a little bit of orange. Not too much. I'll let you yeah, guys smell it. There you go. It's, it's just, just like the others where you, you get that slight hint of orange, but then it kind of goes away. Yep. Once again, guys, 4% alcohol, zero sugar, 90 calories, and one in car. Here we go, orange twist, the last one out of the Omission Hard Seltzer Variety Pack. See how this one goes. Better. Uh, I don't know if I taste. Not a lot of flavor. 
I'm like, yeah. I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> well, it's weird because the blueberry had a ton of players. These after going through every single one, you know there's a difference in flavor. In it. Yeah, there's you can tell, but it's just you can. Your like taste buds want you to know that like the, the orange is more like an orange peel, not like a juiciness yeah. of an orange. The lime was a lime like peel, not like you know with just a little lime. The what else did we try? The grapefruit was you know it was like a hint of grapefruit, but it's not like if you're looking for maybe I'm just looking for a grapefruit drink or an orange drink. And I want those like those it's not bold very that, It's not that predominant. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. the, the very seltzer. Light. The seltzer flavor definitely takes over the uh, the actual added flavoring. True. And yeah, I, I just kind of go back to to those natural lights, which who do they have some flavor? <laughs> yeah. Like, the natural light seltzers are definitely something you guys should go try. But uh, as far as these go, uh, if you like Omission, then uh, maybe go try them for yourself. Uh, but right yeah. now, probably the best one out of the what is it, four flavors is definitely the pomegranate blueberry acai. I mean, this has the most flavor in it. If you're if you're um, into seltzers and you want to go oh, the yeah. gluten-free route, definitely give these a try because everybody's tastes are different. We just happen to not be able to taste everything in there and it's not our cup of tea as they say but our cup of omission <laughs> cup of omission but uh but yeah definitely give them a try uh, you might fall in love with them they might be your favorite seltzers ever yeah if you're a seltzer person then uh, definitely try them let us know if you've tried these if you like them but uh this one's definitely my favorite the blue pomegranate blueberry acai or acai uh so yeah, that's, this is the one I would choose out of the whole pack. It's the most flavor and it's definitely better in my opinion. What do you guys think? Yeah. You like this one? I they all kind of blended together. Yeah. Like, uh, I, they, to be honest, I'm one. not really a big salt so it's hard to say. Yeah, there was like, yeah we just, yeah. The, I would say <laughs> that the pomegranate blueberry definitely had the most flavor, but it's also weird because that's the only one that had two different flavors together. Three. So, uh, three. So I wonder if that's the reason that, you know, you get a three flavored one and then singular flavor. That is true, that one did have more. That's the one that you could have the smell to it, have the taste to it, and every other one was just like a light one flavor. flavor. Yep. So, that's it for Omission Hard Seltzer Variety Pack. I don't know if these are being sold singly, or in singles, or single flavors, but for now, we got these 12 packs. So thanks for watching everybody. Make sure you subscribe, leave a thumbs up on the video. Let us know if you've tried the Omission Hard Seltzers. There's a little stuff on there. All right, we'll see you guys next time for another beer review. That's a pair of the Samurai Ben. All right, what are you doing, Ben? So, I had this weird idea that I'm, I'm gonna mix all four together in one cup. Maybe it'll make it'll bring out some flavor. Alright, let's we'll see what try the first Maybe. Okay, just one. Make sure you're doing it equal. Two. Yeah, that's not an equal portion. <laughs> oh, he's got three. Got three. So, so I guess that's do, all of them. That's together. why there's four. Quarter, quarter, quarter. He did a quarter. Okay, maybe right, one more to go. go. A fifth. Samurai bins. Bonus material. Okay. All right, here, here we go. go. All four mixed together. Hopefully, it tastes better. We'll find out. <laughs> A little bit better. Really? Okay. Can I try? It's a good drink. Actually tastes a lot better. Well, yeah. Yeah. So, try new things. Five, six different flavors together. It'll right. taste better. This has been bonus material. This is Samurai Ben signing off. <laughs> Down the hatch.
Chuck, 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 Chuck. Oh, yeah. Damn. <laughs> Great job. And there we go.